topic for this lesson is elements of art, also known as the elements of design. Elements of designs are the fundamentals of design. They are the components of a design. They are what the artist puts together to form a good design. And such elements include line, texture, color, shape, value, and so on. Line Line is a path of a moving point and it is used to define the shape of an object. There are different types of line and it includes vertical line, horizontal line, diagonal line, dotted line also known as dashes. We also have zigzag line and curved line. Another element of design is texture which is the tactile quality of the surface that is how the surface feels. There are two ways of explaining texture. The first is in three-dimensional form, which is the visual feels of an object when touched. And in two-dimensional form, line, shape and value are used to illustrate how an object feels. Some examples of texture in art include the hairy texture, the smooth texture, we also have the soft texture, bumpy texture, and rough texture. So when an object is touched, it can appear in any of these forms. Another element of design is form, which is a three-dimensional object. That is object having width, height, and depth. Form is classified into solid shapes, and these shapes include sphere, cube, pyramid, cylinder, and cone. These forms are often assembled together into what is called a still life that allows artists to study light and shadow in a space. Another element of design is color, which plays a vital role in a design. Colors are classified into three main groups, and these groups include primary color, secondary color, and tertiary color. Primary colors are natural colors, that is, they cannot be gotten when two or more colors are mixed together. And they include red, yellow, and blue. Secondary colors are colors that are gotten when two primary colors are mixed together. Such colors include orange, green, and purple. And we have tertiary colors which are combination of both primary and secondary colors and they include yellow orange red orange red violet blue violet blue green and yellow green terms associated with colors include hue saturation and value Hue is the easiest one, it's basically another name for color. Saturation is the intensity and purity of color as displayed in an image. The higher the saturation of a color, the more vivid and intense it is. Value is the lightness and dullness of color. Another element of design is space, which is an external or internal area of an object. We have the positive and negative space. The positive space is the main object itself, that is the image of what you've drawn. 
why the negative space is the background or the area that surrounds the object of interest. Here is an example of positive space and negative space. Another element of design is value, which tells how bright or dark an object is. Value is divided into two which are tinting and shading of color. Tinting of colors is achieved by adding white to a color and shading of color is achieved by adding black to a color. Shape is an element of art that is two-dimensional, flat or limited to height and width. Unlike form, shapes have height and width with no depth. Shapes are always flat and their boundaries are defined by other elements of design such as line, color, texture, value and so on. There are two main types of shapes which are geometric shapes and organic shapes. Geometric shapes can be determined mathematically. They are known as regular shapes. And they have specific names such as circle, square, rectangle, triangle, and oval. They don't often appear in nature. The opposite of geometric shape is organic shape. Organic shapes are shapes we see in nature. They are natural shapes. They are free-flowing shapes. These shapes are irregular, they are not definite.